Hey, I'm Matthias with Propeller Software, and I'm here with DV247 to uh, show you a bit of Reason 6. So first and foremost, we have three new devices in Reason 6, and I'm going to start with Pulverizer. And one thing that Pulverizer is really good at is drums. So I have this drum loop here. Sounds a bit like this. It's OK. But I really want to kind of squash this a bit. And Pulverizer is both a compressor and distortion unit. And it has a few other tricks. So I'm going to start by just raising the squash here. And you'll hear the compressor working really hard, actually. You can hear it really squashing the sound. This compressor was made to really do something extreme instead of kind of light compression that you might be used to. So to really make these drums more crunchy, I'm also going to add some of our distortion called dirt. You have a much, much thicker drum sound. I mean, that's the basics of Polarizer. It also has a filter that's really flexible, because I can use this filter, yeah, as a filter, of course, but I can also use the envelope follower to control this. So if I just bring down it a bit, and then add some of the envelope follower, you can hear the filter being affected by this. This is a kind of weird sound. So what we also have, is this dry-wet blend. So I can actually do parallel processing really easily. I can mix this kind of crunchy but filtered sound with the original dry signal. This makes it possible to do really extreme settings. So if I take away the filter and just squash it to bits. I can mix it in with the original sound and really get kind of a nice, nice uh, parallel compression. Another new device is called the Echo. So to this drum beat, I actually have some electric piano I recorded. Sounds a bit like this. But this piano, it's, it's a bit dry, right? So I'm going to add the Echo. The Echo is our new stereo delay effect. It has a few tricks up its sleeve, but first and foremost, it's just a really good delay, right? So I'm going to set the dry wet to about 50% so you can really hear it and solo the piano. So first and foremost, it's a regular delay, but you can offset the right channel. So you can actually get a stereo delay with different settings. So you have three 16th notes here on the left one and four at the right one. You can of course sync it or not sync it to tempo at all. It has really good feedback too that goes into overdrive quite quickly. So watch your speakers. It also has some diffusion, which makes it more kind of like a reverb, which is really good if you want to widen the sound. It also has a distortion section, so if you want to add some color, you can raise the drive here. And the standard setting is a really good sounding tape limiter to just kind of add some presence. It also has a filter in the feedback loop, so I can quickly select the higher frequencies if I want. Or the low. And trying to be true to a tape echo, we also have some wobble, right? This slightly changes the pitch because with tape echoes, they don't always go the same speed. So if I raise this, you'll hear some kind of changes in the pitch, which makes it a lot more warmer. If you want to be extreme, we also have an LFO for the pitch. great for special effects. But when we did this, we wanted to do something special too. We didn't just want to make a really good delay, so we added the key pitch function. Usually when you change the timing of a delay, it sounds like this. Which might be okay, but most of the times it's not, right? So what we did was use our time stretching to add this key pitch function. 
So if I play this with key pitch enabled, I can actually change the timing. Without affecting the pitch. Then we also have a few different modes of working with the echo. The normal one is just dry wet. Then we have one called triggered. This is great if you want echo on just one piece of sound. So let's say I don't want echo on this piano track except for a certain phrase. I can just click this little trig button to trigger the delay. And that's the only time it makes a sound. Furthermore, we also have a roll feature. And this is much more like a beat repeater. So if I raise this slider, it just takes the last thing that came in and repeats it. And this is actually really good to use on, for example, drums. So I'm gonna just add these together and then quickly show what I can do with the drums here. So we really think the Echo is a great device. Finally, the third device that's completely new in Reason 6 is called the Alligator. And to show you the alligator, I first want to add some kind of pad. So I'm just going to play a bit on this real quickly. spice this up, I'm going to use the alligator. And the alligator, kind of as the name implies, it's a gate effect. So just selecting the first pattern and playing this back, you'll hear something really interesting. It has three, di three different gates with different filter settings. So you can get a lot of different patterns from the built-in ones, or you can even make your own. At the back side here, we have the gate ins, of course. And every single one of these different uh, channels has a bunch of effects too. So I can add drive, sub distortion, phaser, or delay, or even pan them differently. And if I want, I can even blend in the regular sound, the dry sound. It's a really nice device to add some movement to anything. But also in Reason 6, all of the features we had in Record, like audio recording, our big analog model mixer, and Neptune are actually in here. So to quickly kind of show what this is about, I want to show you Neptune. Neptune is kind of an auto pitch correction device. If I just play this track without, you'll hear how it sounds. I just bypass this. I can quickly fix this by just turning it on and with the pitch adjust you can set the correction speed and how much expression he should still have. So if I play this part again, you can hear it sounds much better. But as always we try to take things a bit further so you can actually play what notes he's gonna sing with your MIDI keyboard. You can also add chords. So Neptune is a really flexible device. And you can really do a lot with it. So, as you can see, audio tracks in Reason from Record. So it's really easy to record anything you want. And we also have the big mixer, which is a model a uh, model mixer on a very famous British mixer, the SSL 9000K. And it has pretty much everything you expect from a big mixer. From the input section, compressor, expander and gate on every single channel, filters and parametric EQ, every channel, 
insert effects, sends, and even that very, very famous master bus compressor. So that's what's new in Reason 6. And if you buy Reason 6 now, the coming upgrade, Reason 6.5, will actually be free. And to learn more about Reason 6.5, you can check our website and you'll see what's new. Thanks. <laughs>